Hey everybody, it's TacoDude007, and welcome back to more Fossilers. I believe this is part 30, so happy 30th part! <laughs> I love a one-man party. So in the last episode, we went down to Woolbeard's ship and we were told to go get the beard ribbon! Even though he already has a beard. And in this episode, we have to go talk to Rosie's little grandpa, Richmond. Mr. Richmond. Guard. Yes, another peaceful day at the Richmond building. Yeah, we gotta go in the Richmond building. Apparently he runs this place, so Rosie's little rich Rosie. Ah, that music's cool. And th this guy's a lake in his lobby. Either he had a really bad flood, or... Here we go. We're going up this. And then the elevator takes us here, and we're in Richmond's office. And now we get to learn more about Richmond! Grandpa, have you heard of a beer ribbon that belonged to a war beer for the pirates? I really want to find it. What accent was that? What culture talks like you are? That's so racist. A uh, pirate beer ribbon? Come to think of it, that sounds familiar. Well, oh, jeez! This guy's weird. I remember my people found an old chest that washed up on shore. What? What? But if there's air inside of there. All right, let's think about the scientific properties of how it could have washed up on the shore. So, what happened was it's in the bottom of a bay. Like, in a ship that apparently hasn't gone up and is full of air. How did it get... Was it ever even in the ship? Well, I think Woolbeer would have kept his ribbon in the ship. So, technically, if it were to wash up in a big way, wouldn't the whole ship also technically be gone? And I think if I found a huge-ass pirate ship on the beach... And the, and the little treasure chest, I'd take the huge-ass pirate ship. Okay, so, illogical stories, really? So you have it? Not anymore. An acquaintance of mine really wanted it, so I gave it to him. An acquaintance? Who? Where's he so demanding? His name is Nick Knack. Awful pun number two. Insert drum roll here. There we go. He lives in the hotel. You know you're really bad and you have to make your own sound effects. Nick Knack, that's a funny... N uh, duh! He's a funny fellow. He can seem a little off-putting, but he's actually a good person. Thank you, Grandpa. Talk to Rosie before you leave. I wanted to ask you. What? What would it be? Do you know that each Vivistore can learn up to three or four new skills? Your available skills in battle depend on how many parts you've integrated. The sonar you get diggings, you can only detect up to two parts. If you buy fossil chips, you can get more. So it's pretty much telling you, hey, buy fossil chips. This thing's even harder. And I actually already bought fossil chips, so I can get a third bone in my Vivistores. But I'll be doing that off camera because I don't really think you want to see me go back to every dig site. So knickknacks coming. And no, sorry, we're going to knickknacks. We're going. I hate tripod errors. Um, I should really find a way to stand that like I'm stuck behind a plant. Stupid palm tree. Alright, let me just resituate that camera. There we go. Perfect. So, I'm just gonna be running down there. I'm not gonna cut this out because, hey, I love the beautiful, beautiful scenery. Oh, hotel manager. Ugh. Welcome, young miss. Oh, this hotel manager. Jeez. Here's the guest of yours, Nick Knack. Mr. Richmond. Miss Richmond. Nick Knack has been, ex Mr. Knack has been expecting you. Let most elevator first door and get off. Alright. Let's go get off there. So, um, let's see what's been going on with me. Well, I'm mainly. This is the first time we're. Recorded in like a week. The school got kind of busy. First door on the left, isn't it this guy? Yes it is. School got kind of busy. And um, I've had some fun in my classes. Like um, I've got a pretty entertaining story. Ooh, is that Samba? Everybody dance! I'm just gonna let this theme play for a little while. I'm actually dancing right now, but you can't see it. Oh, yeah. Good afternoon, Mademoiselle Rosie and Monsieur Taco Dude. I am Nick Knack. I heard from Monsieur Richmond about your visit and your desires. Um, now, look, what, what does this guy remind you? He, look, he looks like, um, Ike from South Park, like, the head with, like, um, a dancer in Monte Carlo. So, leave it in the comments what you think Nick Knack looks like. Nick Knack looks like. No trickle, you're prancy? What? Uh, yes. 
So what he's pretty much saying is, I'll be happy to grant your request. I think that's great, but he's gonna want us to do stuff for us. Spool your nets, girl? What? There's a price to be paid. The beard, beard ribbon is a one of a kind treasure after all. What do we have to do to get the beard ribbon? Thinking, thinking. And so what he's gonna want us to do is get three things. Search, find, and bring them here, and I'll give you the bird ribbon. Beard ribbon, sorry. Hmm. My grandfather gave it to you. So we've agreed, my plan. A molted bug shell. Fossil bugs. So we need to go talk to the big egg chief tame, because he probably has a bug thing. When you find it, kindly bring it to me. So now we're gonna be just doing errands, so we're gonna go to Knotwood. And that leaves me the perfect story I want to tell you guys. Well, um, yeah. So what's been going on with me lately, huh? It's not like I, rep I prepared this. Well, I'm actually, I'm in the band at school, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's this one song we play, I believe it's called Novena. And um, there's this one part of it, it sounds like um the first few notes in Luigi's Mansion. It sounds like the dun 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 dun, and th that's it. Like that's all it serves to Luigi's Mansion. So me and my friends just make Luigi's Mansion jokes all day and talk about it. And yeah, it's pretty awesome like that. And we actually just found the sheet music, and it's very similar. So I love how I have little hunches like yes, money. I got 60 gold. Oh, and as you can see, I probably up I upgraded my sonar too. So yeah, look at this. Look at that beauty. But I'm not gonna go digging for fossils other than this one. Because I hate being back in Outward Forest. No! Not a jewel. You know what? I'm gonna fossil battle you. And you know what? I'm gonna cut this out. Because you don't wanna see a Notwood Forest I'm fossil battle. Stuff, do you? Good. Right, so now we gotta go up to this diggity village. And I got a jewel rock for my troubles. No, I don't want to dig that. Whoa. I'm a fossil player. I don't really want to fight. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Yes, I love the catchy melody. Alright, so Rex is here. And I think we gotta fight him. But hey, what else would we do? It's not Vivian or anything. Rex back to battle. Yes! Good luck! Shut your mouth, Rosie! You wish us good luck. Alright, so what Rex is gonna do now, he's got a Megath, a Xeno, and a Nodo. I'm gonna keep Lexo in. The last one might seem like a good idea. Yeah, Lexo, Ala Spinax, Elasmo, and Lexo. That's a pretty decent team, actually. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna go beat a talking dog, not from Family Guy. Hmm. Alright, so after we get the molten bug shell, which I'm definitely doing in this episode, uh, we'll end it off here. So we're going to put this fight in this episode. He's going to leave with a Noto tackle. No apparent reason. 11 damage. I'm shaking. I'm absolutely shaking. So here we go. I'm going to leave with a Spinax Fang. Noto's probably going to die. No, he probably won't. So it's only going to do 28 to him. And as you can see, that's almost nothing. Wait, no, I'm not going to switch. I just want to check. Yep, he had 120. Alright. I'm unimpressed by Rex's team. These are the same guys every time, so... Oh, dang it. Whoa, 46. Oh, no. When the Vivasaur is confused, they do that, pretty much. Like, they just do random stuff you don't want them to do. It's really annoying. So, my Lex is just gonna use Poison Spin. 38 damage is gonna happen. It's gonna, like, bounce off him, but I'm gonna be able to poison him. So everything's worth it. No, they're gonna swap attack zones. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Please don't hit. This thing has, like, a 0% chance of hitting. Like, it almost never hits. Now, Lexo's stuck in the AZ. So I'll just, I'll just poison spin and see what I can do. Yeah. I really wish I could take Lexo out, but because of Spinax being the... Darn it. In the EZ. That's a problem. I'm with this tripod and stuff. 
Wow, miss. Xeno is such a threat. Why did I say that? The poisoning is going to do a ton of damage. And I'm just trying to find the optimal viewing angle here. Nope. And, alright, let's see. There we go. It's all back. Mm, it's all good. Alright. Mainly because I want to see this thing dead. Last mode. Just a last mode combo. Wait. Did I attack Mega or Xeno? Oh, good. Whoa, 56, and he's dead. Last mob. Jeez. Last mob. Last mob, yeah. They have one last mo and one last mob. It's like, wow, could you think of a better name? Now, because of... Oh, God. Not Slow Fury. Not Slow Fury. Oh, my God. He's dead. He's at... Whoa! Now he's dead. He lived in 137 damage attack. Gold medal. Gold medal, man. Gold medal. Yeah, so Elasmo just goes down without question. Spinex combo. I'm gonna see if I can knock out this thing out in one hit. It's probably not gonna happen, though. Yeah. Whoa! Set one hit? I knocked it out in one hit. So now all that's left is no dough. <coughs> no dough. It's like saying it's broke. Perplex. Rex's big thing is confusion. It's really annoying. Ugh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and now he's gonna move himself into EZ. I guess he's taking like a mandatory DL break. So I'm just gonna poison some Lex on this should finish it. Yep, 40 damage though. Kidding me? Oh, at least he's poisoned. He's definitely going down next turn. And Lexo will be able to live whatever the heck you can do to him. Even a quick shot. 45. Dang. That poison will knock it out. And I beat Rex. Battle, put down, battle, pow! Yeah, I'm, I'm awful at singing. Never asked me to do that again. Spine Axe's LP increased by four. Last mo LP increased. I'm trying to get Alexo to over 100. I think he currently is 98 LP. Just pathetic at this point in the game. Bow and run. He runs. All right. Well, we're gonna get the the bug shell. I think the multi bug shell. I love the dig dig village. Now I'm gonna talk about something cool. I've been getting new subscribers. Yeah, that's about it. And thank you, thank you very much. And you know, if you haven't yet, if you enjoy my videos and you want to continue supporting me, I have another Let's Play in mind. You guys are gonna love. And if you're excited for that, leave a comment. If you're really excited for that, subscribe. If you do both, I love you. Nah, now Rosie's back to saying digga. And I'm just like, digga, damn you. Ah, huh. Snicker. I have no idea. It brings you. I'm trying to find a molted bug shell. Deep on the ground. A molting ritual. He's gonna teach us the hip shaker dance. Calling it. Yep. Vigorously shake our hips. So, now we're gonna be doing the hip shaker dance. It's called, it's that. So, when you do the hip shaker dance, all you have to do is press A. I believe. We can demonstrate. So apparently once this happens, it kills fossil bugs. Oh yeah. Look at my hip shaking. Look at how good I am at hip shaking. Look at me, I'm like emotionless. And the bug just scared itself out of its shell. Whoa, was that Duna? She's like, she just like went through that way. Thanks for the digger dance lesson. Let's take this multi bug back to Nick Nick. Now we gotta go back to Nick Nick. You know, when that awkward little camera pan, I think we can end it off here. So next time on Fossil Bears Part 31, we'll get the second thing that Nick Nick wants. God help us all.